Bubba, I think we got some good mail. You want to help me? Yeah. Okay, come on. What do you think we got in there, Bubba? What do um, you think we got? A bike. You, well, I don't think we got a bike in there. Let's go see. Uh-oh, what's in there, Bub? Oh, yeah, they came. Get it, Bub. Grab it. Grab it. Oh, what's that? There's more. Get him. Get him. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, good boy. Oh, we got three of them. Uh, what do you got, man? What did we get? Yo, 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 guys, what's up? Welcome back to another one. We got some uh, really awesome packages in. Check it out. Ooh, all white ducks, long sleeve. Oh boy. What this is, is this is our mystery box from ducks. Um, we had some leftover product and we wanted to do something yeah, awesome yeah, for y'all. Uh, yeah, we'll get to this one di in a little bit. This is something different. Now, what this is, guys, I wanna tell you before we get this video started, cause this is an awesome deal, is we're doing these mystery packs like this. We're calling them the Ducks Mystery Box. And what they are is they're only $29. And you can get up to $90 worth of product in these bad boys. Let's open this one, see what's in this one, bub. What do you think's in this one? Yeah. Ooh, it's different. Ooh, <laughs> look at that bad boy. We got the gray Ducks Thermal Sweats. I didn't even know that those were in the mystery box. You like them? Are you gonna keep them, dude? Yeah. Are those yours? I don't know if they'll fit you yet. Let's see what's in this one. I think this one's two t-shirts. But the mystery box, you never know what you're gonna get. That's a Navy, Navy Ducks tee. Black ducks tea. Oh, Bubba, you like them? What you think? Look good on me? Yeah, I know. I'm already wearing that one, huh? $29. This right here, I can guarantee you, this one here is probably like a, I don't know, probably like a $75 package only for $29.99. You might get two hoodies. You might get two shirts. You might get a hoodie and a shirt. I wanted to get a couple of them just so you guys could see what was in them. Go down in the description down below and it'll be linked there. I'll link it at the top of the description actually. Hey Bob, what's up man? These are all available in specific sizes. As you can see, I got my size in large. We have large, we have small, we have medium, extra large, double XL, triple XL, all the above. So go and get your size before they are all gone. Dude, we gotta get you a new tricycle. That's Sissy's old one. You can't be sporting a pink one, dude. He says, I don't care, it's my birthday and I don't care what you say. Happy birthday, bub. Everybody wish Bodie a big old happy birthday down in the comment section below. Tell him how old you are, bubba. How old are you? Oh, he's being shy. So we actually just got back from vacation. We all took a family cruise for the kids' birthday. The kids' birthday are actually like only a week apart. And it was freaking awesome. It was our first massive family vacation we've ever taken. But to get into what you guys are here for, this is my old camper. This is the big old Bertha. This is the big girl right here. And yeah, it's an awesome camper. It's actually a toy hauler, which is great. I can haul the side-by-side -side in it and everything else. But since I got rid of the big red Dodge, my three-quarter ton uh, Cummins, yeah, my little half ton Dodge now, it just kind of struggles pulling this bad boy. So I had to make some changes. That's right, we got a new one. And we're gonna get to that in a minute because we gotta go pick up Fred. We got a lot to do in this video, let me tell you what. You, what Fred? You wanna go get Fred? Yeah. You do? He's missing Fred like crazy. We're all missing Fred. But like I said, this is my old camper. And it is awesome. It served its purpose for so long and it still will. I'm really contemplating getting rid of this camper because it is extremely nice. I actually just put a new AC on it not too long ago. And yeah, it's just too big for my truck at this time. I don't know if I'm gonna keep the Rebel forever. Uh, I'm really missing the three quarter ton because I can't pull this bad boy anymore. So if any of y'all are interested in a 24 foot toy hauler, let me tell you, she's stout. It's a decent camper. I will sell it to one of y'all for a great price. If you're interested, DM me on Instagram right here and we can cut an awesome deal for you. I'm, I'm not kidding. Ooh, made, made us some chicken nuggets and macaroni, babe. Gourmet. Gourmet. Mm, my favorite is macaroni by far. If y'all didn't know, now you know. I've been telling y'all. I've been telling y'all for a while now. I've been like, guys, 
we got some new content coming out. And let me tell you what, I'm so excited for it. I'm extremely excited for all the new videos we're gonna be coming you guys' way. It's a lot of new content that I've never got to do on here. Hi, Jackson. Did you miss us, buddy? Did you miss us, buddy? Yeah. Look what Jordan brought over for Jackson. He actually brought him over a cow bone. Jordan's awesome, let me tell you what. Jordan actually took care of our pets while we were gone, but Fred actually stayed at my mom's house because I didn't want to leave Fred for a whole week by himself in the backyard. He's too expensive for one, and he's a pup. You never know what he's gonna do. If he's gonna jump a fence, dig his way out, didn't want to chance it, so enough babbling. What we're gonna do here is uh, we're gonna do a couple things. First, we're gonna go look at the river because the river is so high. A lot of you in the Midwest have got the same amount of rain that I have lately. And let me tell you what, the flood stage that we're at, I have never seen the river this high. So we're gonna go check that out and then we're gonna go pick up Fred and then we're gonna see the new camper. So stay tuned, let's go. Holy smokes. Oh my gosh. So we've been in Florida. Like I told y'all, we've been on vacation and my mom was texting me, my buddies are like, dude, you'll never, ever, you do not understand how high the river is. Check this out. So here's the overpass. I've done a few videos up underneath here, but look, it's flooded all the way up here. Ah, someone drinking the old Keith Stone. Holy smokes, check this view out, y'all. Sorry if it's windy. Holy smokes, look at that. Oh my goodness, that's about all that I can uh, zoom in there. Sorry for the wind yet again, but that bad boy is raging. Wow, and I was wanting to go hand fishing in the next month. I've been hitting around about it to y'all for, I don't know, a couple years it seems like, but I used to do a lot of hand fishing, and I mean a lot of hand fishing. I was raised hand fishing. I was a little kid dragging the stringer with all the big old flatheads on it. And let me tell you what, my group that used to hand fish, that I actually hand fished with for a lot of years, we've all kind of fell apart. We've all had kids and they have kids and we're all busy, you know. But I just met a new group of guys at a wedding that I was uh, photoing. A lot of you know that me and my wife, Beth, we actually photo weddings. And yeah, I met a group and they're like, dude, come with us anytime. I'm like, y'all don't mind if I film, right? And they're like, no, bring as many cameras as you want. So, little heads up but it's probably gonna be a while before we're able to do that. This river has to go way down. I would say maybe mid-June we'll be able to go. Late June for sure, you know, July 1st for sure. So just stick around, be expecting some epic hand fishing videos. Yeah, I've never seen it spill over into this field before, wow. So not too long ago, we actually got some good rain and I actually found a puddle with like two carp in it. So with this amount of flooding, we should have carp in the fields. That's gonna offer some great videos that I'm gonna do. So be expecting those as well. I'm just giving you a little hint what's to come. And with the river being up, it filled back up with flatheads. So y'all have been requesting the old bank lining videos. A lot of you miss them. I miss doing them, believe me. We're gonna get after them again, and we're gonna get after them in the new camper. Oh man, you can't see them very well, but there are some woodies out there, right there. If, if any of this water sticks around, or if we keep getting moisture like this come till season, and there's water in the fields, we could be doing till hunts in cornfields. We could be doing till hunts and cut milo fields. Yeah, you catch my drift. We could be doing till hunts and cut wheat fields. How sick would that be? Uh-oh, look who we picked up. Old Frederick McGee. What up, dude? Let's go. Come on, boy. Look at how healthy he's looking. Come here, Fred. Look who we got here. Old dad. What up? I'm here. Look at him, though. He is looking so good. Good boy. I heard you were a good boy at Grandma's house, dude. Thankful for the food that we bought him. Yeah, it's expensive, but he is looking awesome. Come on, dude. Let's go check out the new camper. So I've been waiting to show you all. I mean, we went on vacation. Me, Dad, and the whole family just got back from our cruise in Florida. Yeah, we went to the Bahamas, like I said. But I've been biting at the bit to get back and show you guys the new 
camper. Now before I show you guys, there's a reason why I got this size. And like I said, it's for the half ton. My half ton cannot pull my big old camper anymore. There's just no way. This is actually like what they call it a super light, a feather light. So literally, we, when me and dad pulled it home, it felt like there was nothing. I mean, absolutely nothing behind my truck. You ready to do some camping, make some catch and cook videos? I'm more than ready to go camping rather than get back on an airplane or a ship. Oh my, you are not lying. That airplane and ship, I am my, done. My body feels like it is beat up and I'm <laughs> old. <laughs> Seriously, my ears are still like, they still feel like they have pressure in them. My equilibrium's all off. Uh, Whoa. But here she is, check her out. Isn't she lovely? Oh my gosh. Now, like I said, guys, me and dad, me and dad are gonna be doing a lot of different camping. We are gonna do a ton of campfire catching cook videos. Okay, and a side note, is my dad has every single camping, cooking, knife, fireplace, stove that you could ever dream of. Literally, my dad has every trinket that you could possibly want for camping. And this is just, this is just a little sneak peek of what we're gonna be using. This bad boy right here. This is actually called a rocket stove. This bad boy, you actually use twigs and limbs and just, it cooks itself. It's like its own little jet. Yeah, it, it burns biofuel. What it actually does is it takes, it's got chambers inside of it. It sucks the smoke back in and reburns the gases out the smoke and it comes out smokeless. Me and dad, we're gonna get into some camping and we wanna bring you guys along. And to start it off, the family will have to go at some point. So I'm like, you know what? We just gotta get us a camper. Check it out. We already got the soaps in here. We already got our fishing regulations. Literally, it's brand new and it is beautiful. I've been holding out on y'all to show y'all but like I said, it is going to be so much fun. I hope you guys are ready for some camping videos. I've had a ton of you guys say, Bob, dude, do you camp? And if you do, go camp and make some videos. So I have a ton of awesome ideas. We're going to do some crazy catch and cooks. Let me tell you what. I'm going to be eating some stuff. It's got a stove. It's got a microwave. It's got two bunk beds for the kids. It's got a full fridge. Check out the bathroom. We got a toilet and a stand-up shower. Yellow. Honestly, it is beautiful. What do you think, Fred? You ready to go, dude? You ready to go camping? Huh? You wanna go camping with the boys? Ow, ow, sheesh, I gotta get used to that. Ow! But if you guys have any suggestions about camping, maybe someplace me and dad need to go camping, what we need to catch, what we need to cook, any video suggestions with the camper, with myself, with dad and with old Fred dog. Yep, because he gonna be going too. You got to drop your comments down below. Give us your suggestions. What should we do? I mean, where should we go? We're gonna be doing some rocket stove cooking. We're gonna be doing some campfire cooking for sure. And it's an off-road. This is the off-road edition. So it comes already with mud tires on that bad boy. This bad boy will be able to go anywhere. So if you guys are interested in the camping videos, let me know down below. Hit that big old thumbs up button for me and dad. Come on, load up, dude. Come on. If y'all know how I can get him trained to jump in the bed of the truck to load up, drop a comment down below. I've been trying to train him to be able to jump in the bed of the truck. I have to pick him up every time and I'm like, come on, Fred, you gotta do this every time. There you go, you big baby. You're gonna have to learn how to jump, dude. What's the deal? Why are you being such a wuss? For now, we gotta pick your fat butt up and tote you in there, man. This has gotta change. Check it out. We got some flooding going on here, boys. Holy smokes. Woo. <laughs> Whew. Well, finally home here. I'm telling you what, the first thing the kids said when we got home was, Fred, where's Fred? So what? Uh, hi, Bubba. Hi, Bubba. Hi. 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 Look. Hi, yeah, we got Fred. Come on, Bubba. Come on, Frederick. Oh, 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 there's your brother. Say hi. Oh, there's your Frederick. There's your Frederick sissy. Have you missed him? Yeah. Say 
Get him, get him, give him lovin's. So that was the first thing they said when we got home was, where's my Fred? Edric. He is, he's looking good, isn't he? He's getting thick, him getting thick. So I decided to pick up the video later in the day. I hope that y'all can see me. It is pouring, pouring yet again. Earlier the pool was almost overflowing. I drained it and now it's almost overflowing again. Yeah, this is not good. A lot of people's houses are flooding out right now. Not gonna lie. But thank y'all for being here. We will see you all on the next one. Don't forget if you're interested in the Ducks Mystery Box for $29.99, I will link it down at the top of the description. But thank y'all for being here. We will see y'all all on the next one.